Hi guys, Paribizzi1 here and today we are going for the British Grand Prix and we have a contract renewal for Carlos Sainz 11.1 million we have 17.6 million so quite an easy one uh, approach accepted low risk as every time we don't want to change him from now Let's go. Bit of activity is always the last ones for Carlos. A bit tricky with, with those. It says that we have an email, but nothing. I'll just go do something. Okay, top 1%, that was top 1%, that was top 300 somewhere, but um, we have a portrait department How event. Do you want us to deal with this one? The department wants me to pass on their thanks. Client, we don't want to lose R&D, and we got a durability upgrade, upgrade of Facility spec 2 And we're going now to the British Grand Prix We won't go on the free practices We will go on qualifying immediately because it's nothing now Just 3 minutes of the video I want to make it as small as possible We are going to tweak some things Obviously the setup Which is quite a low air one Quite low aerodynamics on the rear end But we're gonna tweak it Twitch it a bit Obviously 5 kilos, no more not more we'll some things here we're going to change those three the three last ones no two sorry um we're going on to QT Q2 because Q1 was easy and the first run on Q2 was bad, it was on mediums that's why I didn't saw it, but Carlos makes it into the top 10 shootout um, and we got knocked out which is kinda bad your take on it. Who would you say is your biggest rival at uh, Lance Stroll, you want an easy one. Qualifying pace didn't put you at the front of the grid. Will this be a problem tomorrow? Somehow, but as I've said many times, I think to not put those interviews in the video, they're kinda... Well, you know how they are. Well, that was our qualifying bit rough. Not a bit, a lot rough. Um, 2 1 for me, 2 for Lancer 1. Now we're gonna go on to the British Grand Prix, see if someone's got any penalties and stuff like that. We return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone 
And it's time for the British Grand Prix. The 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit in Great Britain is hallowed ground to the Formula One faithful. We have 18 corners that wrap around this former World War II airbase and some good passing opportunities at the end of the DRS zones. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday puts him on pole, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Bottas, Lewis Hamilton and Norris, Russell, Leclerc, Giovinazzi and Carlos Sainz, Ricardo, Mick Schumacher, Yuki Tsunoda, Paul, Stroll, Mazepin, Esteban Ocon, and Callum Island, Samaya, Latifi, Joe, and Luca Giotto. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, something that I've noticed is that Mazepin is in a Ferrari. Mazepin in a Ferrari. Ferrari. Yes, you heard me correct. If you want to see that, just you know, go a bit, go a bit behind. Maybe I'll show you this was further back. I don't remember if I showed it. I think I showed it. No, I did not. Sorry. And we're going on the five. Red slides for the Brazil Grand Prix, and we go have a good start. Schumacher has a bad start, so he has a good one too. We're side by side, side, yes, side by side with Schumacher. Still, we're going to dive bomb the, the Snowda. Yes, we are good. Not to join that team, Ricardo. We don't want to be too opportunistic. We're trying to do something, but we can do nothing here. Just gonna, de gonna defend a bit as hard as I can do. Okay, and Sonoda is behind us now, clearly. Ricardo is in front of us. Let's hope that someone can overtake him without the RS, but. I don't think he has, the McLaren has so good straight line speed, I don't know how they have so good straight line speed, and then they have good downforce as well, which is weird. And we'll go for Ricardo, let's see if we can overtake him. We overtook him quite easily. But easier than I thought. Using all the track. And that was our lap one for the British Grand Prix. We go on to lap number seven. And Lance Stroll wants to go on a move. He. He's on our inside right now on the cops and see if we can do something we cannot. He's now in front of us but here is a good op overtaking opportunity and we are doing bad. Now he has DRS, that's a bad thing. But we squeeze him. So it's kinda good because we squeezed him. Yeah, a bit bad. Well, now we're going to lap number 9, we're going in the pits, as Carlos is doing, bad, because 
our pit will be slower our pit stop and someone can easily over cut us maybe like Lance Troll who was behind us I think one of the oh Lance Troll Schumacher but look at this I want to say that again it was so close like that's in slow-mo look at the right the right front left tire almost clipped him maybe we did but that pit stop that double stack was scary so close to it was like Mercedes 2019 I think Hoppenheim and now I got the two houses in front of us and Ricardo behind us we go on to the next lap we've we are with the Hassan right now Joe is now behind us same will be for Gyoro after Cops with the slipstream that car is bad too bad ok we overtook him quite easily because he's in a house and now going on to lap number 13 Ricardo is behind us and Schumacher has overcut us he overcut us as I said someone could easily un overcut us and that's what happened well we're going on to the next lap we'll have DRS and slipstream with also ERS and you see how easy it is but now he will switch back at us and what lovely mood move sorry by him but we we'll clear him out and a nice overtick now though signs is in front of us so in a weird place because if we overtake him here he will overtake us again but we don't overtake him we want to overtake him um, in the second DRS zone yeah let's see if we can do that Schumacher is behind us still a lot fast faster than I thought he, he is but now we'll have DRS, ERS and the slipstream with it which is OP like two same cars are those in see the difference and now he'll switch it back as he too but I think he clipped us yeah he, he clipped us and now he's in for a pit stop to change his front wing I don't know Carlos is in the pits what that he will be I think softs but we'll see now we're going on to lap number 19 Ricardo is riding right behind us and he overtakes quite easily we almost spawn but we say but the stroll overtook us we want to see if we can overtake him again and take that one point he's behind us he will try and squeeze him we kind of did good and now we need to try and catch up to Ricardo Um, I 
we come home for the British Grand Prix That's the end of the race. We'll see you in part and a tenth one singular point it was a nice race and that one point matters plenty of action here at Silverstone it was a memorable race and what an impressive victory tell me Ant how did they manage to achieve this win well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Okay, so this was the British Grand Prix and quite a good race. I have lots of DNFs and to finish normally the point on the race is Let's have quite a quick look good. at how the driver's standings have changed. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Yeah. Lance Stroll certainly Let's put in see the standings there. No doubt his team we are 11 Carlos's. It's time to see how things are shaping up behind the us with Red just Bull two points separating us. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. One of the constructors, we are good. Seven, I think so. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But if you like the video, like and subscribe for other videos like this. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe as I said. And see you in another video. Bye.